what's going on everybody kwaku here back with another video today i wanted to show you all a new app that i discovered on github actually and they just so happen to have an app on the microsoft store it is actually called uh, 11 clock and now 11 clock is a very straightforward application as you see in the pictures here and it is developed by uh, marty clement um, so thank you for developing this application uh, basically what it does is it allows you to customize your Windows 11 clock. It allows you to do a whole lot of things with it. Uh, for starters, it lets you to change your clock. It allows you to just change the different styles, change the colors, change the background, change the location. Um, just a whole bunch of things that just the clock just doesn't let you do. So without further ado, let's jump into it. <music> Alrighty, so the first things you want to know about this application probably is that what's the price? As you know, it is actually free, so you can get it free on the Microsoft Store currently. And to activate it, you just open it up when you download it, and then it doesn't show any changes on your clock at all in your tray. Uh, you actually have to go here uh, with the arrow and actually interact with it. And then they have a bunch of options here, such as change date and time, notification settings, restart 11 o'clock in case there are any issues, uh, reload clocks, and then 11 o'clock settings, which is where we're going to mainly be. So looking into 11 o'clock settings, there is quite a few things here uh, related to 11 o'clock settings. Um, and basically for starters, there's automatic checking for updates, uh, checking for available updates, bypassing authentic authenticity check. Um, and a whole bunch of other things here show 11 o'clock icon in the system tray which is right here um, and then you can go through say change startup behavior so if you don't want 11 o'clock to actually start up when you start your computer you can turn it off otherwise you leave it on and it'll be your new clock and you won't even really notice a difference um, in terms of what the clock looks like because as you see the clock still works uh, and clicking it still opens up action center and everything so going further we got the clock settings now so this changes the full screen behavior clock position uh monitor stuff um, and so basically right here you see hide in uh hide clock in full screen mode so if you go full screen in a game or whatever it is the clock won't just be floating above it so you can choose to hide that um, so if I click this, you see that this is this doesn't count as full screen, uh, but if I made it full screen on a browser, then it would happen. So what I'm curious is, what happens if I uncheck this, right, so that this thing is still running, and then I open up, uh, I don't know, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm watching YouTube, and I'm going full screen on YouTube. Okay, so the clock stays and it tries to blend in. That's what happens um, with 11 clock. So if you exit out of that minimize this and then you say i want to hide clock in full screen mode automatically open up this video make it full screen the clock doesn't show up anymore and it works just like how you expect it to be next thing here we have show the clock when the taskbar is set to hide automatically uh so basically when the taskbar is set to hide automatically you can choose to have the clock just sit floating there or choose not to i'll just leave it alone uh, you can choose to say do not show the clock on secondary monitors. So if you have more than one monitor, uh, the clock, you can choose to make it only show on one monitor, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and then you have here hide the clock during 10 seconds uh, when clicked. And then you have uh, disable notification badge, tool tips when the clock is hovered, and low CPU mode for those of you who don't have nearly as powerful a computer as I'm using right now to do this. So the next thing here, we got position and size, and this is where it gets kind of interesting, uh, especially in conjunction with all the other apps that I've looked at, like Taskbar 11 and stuff. So if I show add show to desktop uh, icon in the left corner of every clock, I can click it, and then it'll kind of show it. It should show it somewhere here, but I don't even really see a difference there. I do see that it's kind of trying to shift. It says show clock at the left of the screen, so when you click that, it duplicates the clock. It shows it at the left of the screen and the right, and it still does the same things uh, when you do that, so I can disable that. Force clock to be at the bottom of the screen, top of the screen. So if I hit force clock to be at the top of the screen, basically it also shows at the top. Clicking it still opens up Action Center, and there you go. You can make it so that the clock overrides the clock default height, uh, set a minimum width for the clock, the clock vertical position, horizontal uh, position, and all the stuff. Uh, you can choose a custom font. So if I check this off right now, right now the current font that the clock is using is Sego UI variable display, which is Microsoft's Windows 11 UI uh, one. So if I wanna change it to, I don't know, Google Sans or Samsung Sans, let me see if I have it installed. Yes, I do. So if I can go to Google Sans, and now the clock has turned into Google Sans, 
um, fonts. So if I can do, if I want to do that, and then I can also say I want to add a custom font size, change it to like 12. Let's say I'm not, I can't see too well. I don't like having a tiny clock. I can do that. It does kind of overwrite the uh, volume logo when you change it that big. I wonder what happens if I change it to 100. Okay, I don't know why you would do that. Change it to 18. Okay, so that's how the clock would look. Change it to maybe 16. Still takes up kind of too much space. What about 14? 14 is getting close to the sweet spot, but I believe 12 is like a good sweet spot if you guys uh, want to use this feature. All right, I'm going to uncheck these just to keep it back to normal. Uh, another thing here, you can choose a custom background color. I'm just going to skip the disable background color and make clock transparent. In fact, if I click it, you can see that's what happens. Uh, this is the custom color area. I can pick, say I want to make the background of the clock red. Hit OK. Now the background of the clock is red and so on. Uh, system accent color. My current one is this blue color, so that's what it is. Align the clock text to the center. So you can center uh, align the clock text, which honestly I might actually pick because I didn't even notice that it was right justified. I might actually leave this on. Um, and then going through, there's even more things. Show clock time, show time on clock. You can choose to only show the date. You can choose to show nothing but the basics and it'll just be cut off. Uh, but if you just enable these two, it'll show time and date or just time or just date or, or vice versa rather. Um, seconds you can add. So you want to see the exact seconds to when it turns nine o'clock as of me recording in three, two, one. Boom, it's nine o'clock. Seconds work pretty well. Um, you can do uh, show the week number. So you can say this is week 17 of the year so far. Um, show week day on the clock. So if I want to show like what's the day of the week, I can do that. And then because it's cut off, maybe I want to change the font size and I want to lower it to like, I don't know, seven and a half. Now it'll show the full week day. It'll show everything. It looks like something is back here. And this is the action center icon. So you can choose to change those things up, but you'll have to do some tweaking on the font. Uh, so let's take off the weekday because I don't actually need that. That weekday thing actually reminds me of like Windows 7 and uh, Windows Vista type things where you could show the weekday, I believe. Going through even more, uh, you can change regional settings, which I'm not going to bother showing because it's just the regional settings. And there's a whole bunch of other things here, such as uh, some experimental features. It says use only if something is not working. Fix the hyphen dash showing over the month. Obviously, I don't have any issues. Um, alternate clock alignment, you can do stuff like that and so much more, um, actually not too much more and that's about it. So it's, this is more so me looking at the application and giving judgment based on, uh, using it for about an hour or two. Um, I know it's not worth a full review, but I want to showcase the application because it is different. It is something, uh, more interesting. Uh, that I didn't expect actually existing on the Microsoft Store. Um, and it's it's pretty dope, honestly, in my opinion. I recommend you guys take a look at this. Let me know how it works for your flow. Um, you can just do a bunch of things with it, and it's very interesting. So my name is Kwaku. As you know, this application right here, as you saw it, this is 11 Clock by Marty or Marte uh, Clements. I'm probably saying it wrong, but solid application, solid solid so far i haven't seen any bugs even using it for this short period of time but i'll probably do an update video eventually for some of these apps that i've covered on whether or not i still use them and how i feel using them months later so that might be a good thing to do let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care